Yannick Sinner versus Grigor Dimitrov. Final of the Miami Open for the men for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Dimitrov entered the tournament as a number 11 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Tabillo. And after losing the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, 7-6, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Halfman, who had just beaten Manorino in the previous round. This is no problem for Dimitrov, beating Halfman in under an hour, 6-1, 6-love. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 8 seed, Hercatch, who had just played an epic match against Quarter the day before. And this is no different, with Dimitrov losing the first set and fighting back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Dimitrov will take on the number 1 seed, Alcaraz, who had just won Indian Wells the week before. But Dimitrov came out on fire, demolishing Alcaraz, 6-2, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Dimitrov will take on the number 4 seed, Zverev, who had been very impressive to start this hardcore season, who had only ever won one match against in eight previous meetings. And after taking the first set, Dimitrov will fight back to win, 6-4, 6-7, 6-4, to advance to his third Masters 1000 final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number 2 seed, and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier of Avasori, which is no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Grigspor, the 25th seed, and this was a battle. After dropping the first set, Sinner would fight back to win, 5-7, 7-5, 6-1, to beat Grigspor. In the fourth round, he'd take on O'Connell, who had beaten Tiafo to get to this stage. There's no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-3 6-4, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Mahatch, the unseated Czech who had been doing really well by beating Rublev along the way. This is no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sinner would take on Medvedev, the number three seed, who had actually won this tournament 12 months ago against Sinner. But Sinner was way too good getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-2 to advance to the final. These two have only played three times before with Sinner holding a 2-1 head-to-head record, including both matches last year. But when they played in Beijing in the quarterfinals, of last year, Dimitrov did get the second set, so maybe there is a little bit of hope there for Dimi that he might be able to cause a massive upset. Taking a look at the shot quality for this one between the two guys, for the tournament average, Dimitrov actually leads on serve an 8.7 to an 8.3 for Sinner, and serves so well against Verev, so really needs to do well on the serve in this one. On the returns, it's Sinner with a 7.7 to Dimitrov 6.6. On the forehands, Sinner has a slight advantage with an 8.9 to an 8.7 for Dimitrov, and on the backhands, it's Sinner again with an 8.3 to Dimitrov 7.6 so it's really going to come down to the surf for Dimitrov because once the rallies start Sinner might be in control and the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed spin depth width and the impact it has on the opponent this is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights if you want to check out more you can go check them out on Twitter link down in the description really fun matchup always love to see Dimitrov doing so well he's just such a fun player to watch of course Baby Federer is the name, but I've got to go with Sinner in this one. He just keeps winning. Dimmy's had a great run. He should be proud of that, but I reckon Sinner gets the title. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win Miami.